everyone. It's Jason with My RV Inspection and MyRVResource.com. It's like the Yellow Pages for RV Service Providers. Check it out. Today, I'm back for another weekly one reason to get an RV inspection. And this unit right here that I am inspecting is a 2020. And it has a generator on board. Okay? Now, the National Fire Protection Agency, and let me read the exact comment, what they say here, so I don't get it wrong. They say, oh, come on, let go. That the terminus of the combustion exhaust shall extend beyond the periphery of the vehicle and discharge exhaust gases away from the vehicle. So what they're saying is the carbon monoxide that's coming out of your generator exhaust needs to be pushed out past the sidewall so that the carbon monoxide doesn't go up into the belly of the RV and inside. Carbon monoxide, we've talked about it several times, can kill you. So, this is a 2020 RV. Let me just show you the date here real quick. It was manufactured in 2019. Today, I'm middle of July, 2022. So this is a used RV. Should have been done correctly when it was built. So it's had this life safety issue probably since day one. Had these people had an RV inspection, it would have got caught, probably got taken care of. But they didn't, obviously. And now I'm here inspecting it for the second owner. And let's just take a look at it. So you see that exhaust there? It doesn't come out past the sidewall up under it that exhaust is supposed to be directed away from the unit and beyond the sidewall and it is neither right so if I'm looking straight down the sidewall look down I don't see the exhaust if I come over here to the sidewall we can see the exhaust let me just walk up we can't see the exhaust So, folks, that can kill you. That gets carbon monoxide inside this RV. It's dangerous. It's a life safety issue. And those are one of the things that we search for on these RV out of the hundreds of items. Uh, we may send you a, a checklist that shows 130 or so items. My typical inspection once the report's done, the report tells you how many items I inspected. It's usually in the 270 to 290 range. And that's just the items we inspected. That's not the five, ten things on each of those items that we checked. So it's really like we're inspecting thousands of things. So once again, it's Jason, Master Certified RV Inspector from My RV Inspection. And also, I'm with MyRVResource.com. It's like the yellow pages for RV service providers. Find what you need across the country. Get your problems taken care of with your RV. Um, so check that out. And you have a nice day.